Oh, didn't see you there. You might recognize me as Son of Terra 92 from the very popular online YouTube show, Science Epic. This is my groupmate, Sita. And right now, you are in the shoes of Regina Wong, another groupmate. Now, I normally talk about science, but today we're going to talk about something very important in the field of engineering, and that is phase lock loops. Phase lock loops are negative feedback control systems in which the output at a, this thing called the phase detector is influenced by an input at a later time. Now, phase lock loops are very versatile and crucial equipments in the realm of telecommunications and RF communications technology. Phase lock loops have various different functions from tracking frequency generator, uh, hold on, from demodulators, tracking generators, or clock recovery circuits. But one of the most important features of the phase lock loop is that it can capture a signal from a noisy communications channel and that is what we're going to explore today. Um, that being said, Carl Sagan, an astronomer, once said that if you wish to create an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent... If you wish to bake an apple pie from scratch, you must first create the universe. But in response to Carl Sagan, I would say that if you wish to communicate with extraterrestrial civilizations, you must first invent the phase lock loop. Now the phase lock loop comprises of four central components. From the phase detector to the loop filter, the VCO, voltage controlled oscillator, which functions as a frequency generator, and finally the divider. Now these four components are capable of doing all those awesome things from uh, the catching of the signal from the noisy channel. Um, but it depends on how you configure the system. Usually, in today's electronics industry, you can actually buy a phase lock loop within a single chip circuit. But today, we have actually prepared for you a demonstration of a phase lock loop in its various components, from what I just mentioned just now, to get a, a better detail of understanding of what it does. So, without further delay, let's go take a look at it. Now, this is our phase lock loop and as you can see it comprises of our PLL phase detector, our divider and a 555 timer. This 555 timer is actually the VCO that feeds a certain input to the phase detector that because it's a feedback will produce a certain output based on the previous input of this and the current input of this and this is the divider right here. So going back to the, what our PLL can do we have designed it such that it has the capability of going above 10 megahertz as per the specifications that we were given. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how we prove this. So this is our output at the phase detector. All phase lock loops have the output at the phase detector. And uh, as you can see, we have set our channel 1 to a time division of 0 0.2 microseconds. And if we calculate here the peak-to-peak voltage, which is about 0.4, you might want to back up a bit. So it's 0.4 here and 0.2 here, so that would be 0 0.4 multiply 0 0.2 microseconds, uh, how do I use this? Use the blue and the microseconds. Okay. Blue and micro. All right. 0 0.8. This is the time in second, the period. period of the signal. So if we inverse that, you get 12.5 megahertz. And that shows that our output at the phase detector is 12.5 megahertz. Now the significance of this, if you could imagine, is manifested in our cell phones. And anything that wants to catch a signal from the outside world and bring it in to the realm of the, the analog or the digital in terms in our circuits. So you imagine you are right now walking around with a phase lock loop in your pocket and without this technology we wouldn't be able to listen to the radio or um, talk to our loved ones that are separated from us miles away at any given time and what I'm interested in is the detection of extraterrestrial signals from outer space. So. There you go, the phase lock loop, one of the fundamental building blocks of technology in our modern world, but it goes 
overlooked, and here it is, a representation right in front of you, right now. Uh, All right. This has been another Science Epic video log. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you just say next time and punch the screen. Next time. Do the Harlem shit.